doctor, shouldn't we be afraid of getting shot? No, we medical personnel are considered neutrals and cannot be shot at or taken prisoner. Who's that over there? The woman prying bullets out of soldiers with a pen knife. That is Claire Barton, a frontline battle nurse. Like you. She's known as the angel of the battlefield. Hi, I'm Clara. <gasps> is that man dead? <laughs> Quick, check his pulse, but the stethoscope hasn't been invented yet. Then check his pulse on his neck. <laughs> is he dead? Oh, I don't know. What? I don't know. There's no regulated nurse training. <laughs> we'll check his eyes and throat. But the laryngoscope and the ophthalmoscope haven't been invented yet either. He looks pretty dead. <laughs> nurse, perform CPR. But that won't be invented for another hundred years. What else are we missing that we could be saving lives? Well, there's blood transfusion, penicillin. Wait, I'm allergic to penicillin. Okay, microscopes until 1863, other antibiotics, antiseptic. You mean we have no protection from bacteria? What does bacteria do? Uh, we don't know that either. Well, maybe there's still some hope. Let's get him on an ambulance. <laughs> this is practically what an ambulance is these days. There are two or four wheeled carts pulled by a donkey or horse. <laughs> Isn't that dangerous? Yes, because it's such a rough ride. Many soldiers come out notably more wounded or dead. You're a terrible nurse. How much are they paying you? 40 cents a day, plus one ration. Well, you're lucky, because, you know, most medical workers on the battlefield are men. That makes me lucky. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I'm about to amputate your arm. If I don't, you will surely die. What? Yes, these new Menier bullets, they hit the bone and flatten upon contact and cause the bone to explode. So at that point, amputation is the only option. Well, that and gangrene. That blood's from my neck. My arm isn't hurt. Hey, who's the doctor here? You? Well, I may be or I may not be. There's no licensing board, no way to regulate legitimate doctors. And middle school schools aren't that great in the first place. Premium training consists of three 13-week semester and optionally taking the course twice. Why don't you just take an x-ray to see if my bone's broken? Well, the x-ray hasn't been invented yet. Well, how do you know it's a Meniere bullet? 95% of wounds are caused by a small arms fire, and three-fourths of all operations performed during this war are amputations. You're just pussyfooting around an answer. Don't worry, there have been major advances in prosthetic limbs and embalming, so you can have a wooden arm or look great in your casket. But, but, but... You know what? The operation but, takes about 15 minutes. Let's just do it. Nurse! What are you doing? I'm administering chloroform. Isn't that dangerous? It's only dangerous if the nurse is incompetent. Are you competent? Uh. Well, some patients have died uh, in operation under chloroform. What are my alternatives? Well, there's ether and whiskey, or you can bite down on a bullet or a stick. Well, seeing as biting at something would probably send me into shock. I'm going to take the whiskey. First, I will cut off the blood flow with the tourniquet. And then I will slice through the flesh, tissue, and veins, and arteries with a scalpel. Doctor, that's not a scalpel. We are issued standardized equipment, so we have to bring our own stuff from home. Five, six, seven, eight. Next, I will use a capital saw to cut through the bone. I will take the limbs and throw it into a pile with the rest. Then I will soak the veins and arteries with silk thread. If we were in the Confederacy, this would be cotton. Did you sterilize these instruments? Weren't we paying attention before? Antiseptics haven't been invented yet, and we don't know the effects of bacteria. An infection is pretty much a guarantee. In fact, twice as many soldiers will die from disease or infection than from battle. And there will be 620,000 casualties, so that's really saying something. Ah, uh, it hurts so much! Well, you're lucky. There have been huge advances in pharmacology, handling spread of infections and diseases, and anesthetics. In fact, the first ortho orthopedic hospital was just established. But what can you do for the pain? We have morphine and opiates, which can be taken as a pill, by solution, or by rubbing or dusting into the open wound. Or I can just pretend to inject you with this useless syringe because the hypodermic needle hasn't been invented yet. That's it? Hey, I said there are major advances, not huge breakthroughs. Wait a second, but what if I become addicted to painkillers? Most people do, but that's okay because they're completely legal in this day and age and they can be purchased at your local drugstore back at home. There's a lot of drug addicts going home from this war. Hello, doctor. Oh, hello there. Are you new here? Yeah, so it's just hiring me today. I'm 
Dorothea Dix, superintendent of female nurses. It is now required that at least one third of union nurses be women. There are about 3,000 working in the union alone. Well, I'd like to become a nurse. Well, to prevent women with the romantic aspirations from working here, you must be over 30 and very plain looking. You think that women are going to want to hit on these grotesquely mutilated soldiers? Yes, yes I do. Do you fit the requirements? Yes, yes I do. And that's the whole story. Well then, let me give you the basic rundown. The United States Sanitary Commission was established in the Union by the federal government after the fall of Fort Sumter. It was created to improve hygienic conditions in the army camps, recruit nurses, teach soldiers how to retain their health, develop hospital transportation. Wow, but what about the Confederacy? They don't have a sanitary commission, but thousands of women volunteer as nurses. What's up with the weird divisions of a hospital? Actually, that's a new practice. We have patients separated by their injuries and disease to avoid the spread of anything. Gosh, so many rapid medical advances that would have taken decades were made because of the Civil War.